Hi, this is Chris again from Budget Ways. Today I'm going to go over how to turn a list of budget transactions into your own budget. Uh, I created this spreadsheet here um, with four simple columns. Your date, the amount of each transaction, the uh, category, and a description. And uh, So this is something that you can download from your checking account and your credit card accounts and consolidate all into similar similar columns like this. You know, you're going to need the um, amount and category are absolutely required, obviously, for any budget. The description is something you can put in whatever you want here. And the date, it's nice to have because when you fill in multiple months, you can end up pivoting the data and making monthly uh, budgets with the same data. But basically you go out, download CSV files, and then format them to look something like this. And uh, from this point, you know, the typical, this is only about 20 lines, but you could have hundreds or even thousands of transactions from a single month that you need to apply to your budget. So by, uh, I missed a couple columns here. Um, so by using a pivot table, you can turn all of this information into a, an easy little budget very quickly. So to do that, um, you highlight the area with the data in it. And in, if you're using Excel, you'd go to a data pivot table, I believe. And this is open office. So I go to data, and I hit data pilot, start, and uh, current selection. And then you simply drag and drop the, uh, here's the four um, columns that I have highlighted. You drag and drop these where you want them, and it will automatically sort based on everything. So in this case, we want to show each category, and we want to show the total of amounts. So for example, over here, you see we have certain things like groceries, one, two times, dining out, one, two, three times. Um, transportation a few different times this will basically consolidate all this information for you um, so all we're really going to need here is category and then the sum and we hit OK of course you can always go in to see the other options but let's just hit OK and see what happens boom look at this if it puts out all the data for you right here this is basically your budget um, you can see the total here $390. That's how much money you should have left over from last month if you added in all of your financial transactions properly. Um, now this isn't in a great format. See how it's sorted here, category, alphabetically? Um, there's ways to go in and change that. For example, you could change, you could put a number before each category name in the way that you wanted it ordered, and then it would order it that way. Or I could probably go in, sort, I um, wonder if I can sort. I can only sort on category. Oh, you can do custom sorts in here, different things. Anyway, you can play with it by doing that, or you can simply do a copy and go to a new page, paste in your data right here, or better yet, just do a... Uh, Paste special and just paste in the values. In this case, text and numbers. And there you go, this is pretty simple. And then you could do something like take your income and move it to the top. budget. And you can label this January. And then next month, you can drop in February, March, April. Um, you can always go back and make your data in here. Whatever you put in this category here to classify things is what will come out in the pivot table. So obviously you can make things as complicated as you want, as many categories, as detailed, or as simple as you want. 
but I think overall this is a great way to uh, to pretty easily download your information into a spreadsheet and format it into a budget. So we hope this is uh, helpful. Thanks for visiting budgetways.com.